Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Driving down a lonely two-lane Oklahoma highway, you see the <laughs> ribbon of pavement stretching from one horizon to another. You read that just like Galen Cole. Not quite, but I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Even describing this kind of scene lends itself to a kind of poetry and leads us to a spot Galen Culver found that calls itself a museum of rural poetry. I usually unlock the door in the morning and then lock it at night. Choosing words and steps carefully, Sean Perkins opens the Rural Oklahoma Museum of Poetry every day as soon as it's light. There are treasures inside. That's one of the reasons I come in here frequently is to see what people have written, what they've left. Her museum started with a small light in the darkness. I really had a dream at night in bed that I had a poetry museum and it was full of um, poetry machines. Her poetry machines are pen and paper. I don't know what I'm supposed to be writing. And whatever comes out of the visitors who come through. Womanhood is courage. It is bravery and strength. Today it's a group of students from Blue Jacket High School who wander through to see her latest exhibit on 20 women who impacted the suffragist movement in America. Some of these women were poets like Frances Helen Watkins Harper. Perkins operates a writer's retreat next door to the museum, complete with tools for crafting, books for ideas, and a bedroom designed to look like Emily Dickinson's. Who comes in here? Everybody. People, it just kind of pops up, you know, if you're looking on a map, it'll just pop up and it's like, what the heck is that? Sean's been lots of things in her interesting life, including teacher, taxi driver, truck dispatcher, and coffee slinger. I've written in as long as I can remember. Her sister Kelly runs a coffee shop and reading room in downtown Locust Grove. The mission of the museum is to allow everybody to have an experience of poetry and so creating a space where that can happen. The poetry of struggle, the nourishment of a good place to read it, and the inspiration to write it. A century ago, the women of Oklahoma won a struggle to take part in our democracy, and it changed everything, everywhere. Even this small clearing in Mays County, where we can all celebrate the occasion. Near Locust Grove, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Thank you, Galen. The museum has moved to downtown Locust Grove since Galen visited there a few years ago. It's now located on Main Street and is open from 10 to 5 most days.